boy, shunt of your boy, Renate. What's going on? Catch us on Wild and Mofo, Real Dumb Shit, and Redacted Shunt for the Twitter. On YouTube and on Facebook is Official Wild On. Instagram is Wild On Official, and Mixcloud is Wild On RDS for all that dumb shit. The following takes place between 9.30 and 11pm on the day of the time where we had too much Chinese and we're feeling slightly sleepy. Welcome to Real Dumb Shit. I am the one that they call Shunt and he is the one that is called... My name is Redacted. His name is Redacted and on with the damn show. Okay, first off on the top of the list, um, Alec Baldwin, Thomas Wayne, Hokey Koki, RIP to Marie Seven as well as Gary Federich, um, both are... Pu- Part and parcel of uh, Marvel's makeup. We're going to be talking a little bit about Apple's um, September the 12th event. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Uh, First Man, Young Justice, Stars Play, um, Castle Rock, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Sherlock Free, and um, Big Trouble in Little China. As well as um, other dumb shit and shit that revolves around it. So, redacted. First and foremost, let's get so- into... Let's get into the meaty shit. Um, Alec Baldwin playing Thomas Wayne and then hokey coking himself out of it. What do you think? Oh, before that. Okay, before that. As per usual. <laughs> like clockwork. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. What dumb shit do you, have you heard this week? Oh, did you hear um, Coke wants to uh, Coke spy in Costa? Coke by in Costa, yeah? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So what does that mean? Coffee and donut. Do they do donuts in Costa now? I haven't been in Costa for a hot minute still. I don't think so. I think I stopped going in there ever since I had like a very bad spat of, um, how can I pull it without sounding gross? Um, shitty diarrhea. Um, yeah, I haven't been there since. I think it was a case of me being out in public and me having to hold my stomach for at least 10 to 20 minutes whilst running around a Victoria um, <laughs> a Victoria um, train station um, and then having to pay 50 pence um, in order to <laughs> defecate my loins onto a somewhat average yet to mediocre toilet porcelain bowl um, with no um, toilet seat. It was the most painful sort of experience and um, every time I hear the word Costa that's what connotations come up in my head was it milk related? oh yeah <laughs> I specifically said soya milk you fuckers shout out to Costa always listening to the customer customer's always right up until the point they shit their bowels well maybe it, maybe it'd be better under a coke regime maybe 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 I mean like we'll have probably um Milk Zero, Milk Diet, um, whatever other Cokes there are. Milk Zero for everybody. Yeah, Milk Zero. Or Zero Milk. I don't know. What would you call it? Milk Zero. Milk Zero. So that's like milk with no sugar. And all the taste of milk. Yes. Great. Sounds amazing. Sounds excellent. Yeah, I don't know. It just sounds a bit off-brand for Coke. Not really. I mean... They don't have to buy a Costa. Of course they don't have to. It's the why are they buying Costa? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It sounds I like mean, a off brand for them. It's like the whole group though, isn't it, that owns Costa. It's not just Costa. It's the Whitbread group or something like that. They're meant to be buying, isn't it? I think that's connected to Weatherspoons as well. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't imagine. Yeah, but then wouldn't that be the story? Wouldn't it be Cokes buying Costa be Cokes buying Weatherspoons? I don't know. The story is whatever you make, or isn't it? Cokes buying Whitbread or whatever, isn't it? Like, well, that's that's what's come out. Might but... just be buying Costa. Mm, maybe, maybe. I mean, Starbucks is kind of under scrutiny at the moment. Kind of in a weakened state ever since they um, they kicked out two black guys for loitering. Uh... Sorry, sorry. They got two guy, two black guys arrested for loitering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's complete, uh... completely different. Um, I don't know. I mean. I don't know. I, I, I don't think. Well, that's died down. Like no one, no one remembers that. I remember. <laughs> I 
I always remember. I mean, me, I'm a writer, so I always remember that shit. And considering, like, I'm a writer of colour as well, um, the amount of times I've exploited um, Starbucks's sit down and buy one ting um, <laughs> machine in order to get some work done has been quite. Just like the stereotype. Well, this is it, this is it. I mean, like, do they deserve it? More than likely. Um, <laughs> it's like that whole um, calling the police on Nando's um, thing that we had a couple of weeks back. Yeah. I mean,. Fair enough. They are taking a piss. Fair enough. Something has to be done. Calling the police might be a bit um, too much. Too much. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Tad. Tad. Although, it all depends. If they if they went up to the counter and asked for ice water, they deserve the full wrath of the law. That That's a piss take. <laughs> I'm waiting on my friend. Then wait for him outside, innit? Yeah, wait for him outside, bruv. Why the hell are you wasting my time, my electricity, and my patience, bruv? Get out. Get out now. Yeah, I've got it raining. Fuck that. You should, if it was raining, you you, you you looked up at the sky before you come out of your house, right? Possibly. Exactly. Wear a coat. <laughs> wear a hat. Wear some form of like leg wear. And get the fuck out of Starbucks. That's what I would well, say. So to buy one thing and stay in there all day is okay. But to go in there and order ice water while you wait couple minutes for your friend is not cool it's not cool ice water fuck off bruv I always say that ice water <laughs> no 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 because like over in the UK obviously you've got this rule where you know you can't refuse somebody a tap water yeah you know you know whatever background they're from you know it's not like yes yeah you know it doesn't lend itself to anybody but it's just annoying. Like, for example, if you're working in some form of like retail like as a barista or a bartender or something like that, and somebody comes up to you during a busy shift and asks for a tap water, you, you, you feel you feel like the worst thing in the world. Because one, the person that ever that, like I can put it, anybody that orders a tap water is not going to tip you. Yeah. Full stop. <laughs> Anybody that orders a tap water is only going to leave you with an empty, dirty glass, whether it be plastic or glass or a coffee cup or whatever they fucking put in it in nowadays. Yeah. So you're going to have to give that person <laughs> the same amount of time, the same amount of effort and the same amount of work that goes into... <laughs> no, yes. That goes into, you know, giving it to a paying customer, whether it be a field with, you know, coffee, tea... No, or, coffee is obviously more effort to make. Yeah, just quick tink, but, tap water. But it's what you're paid to do. You're not paid to dispense water, <laughs> especially when you sell bottled water as well. So it's like one of those ones where you are making me make an effort to messy up the areas just so you can have a bit of freeness. That's that's the whole moral of the story. That's how I feel about it anyway. Yeah. So, Coke's buying Costa, yeah? Great stuff. What's wrong with, what's wrong with giving your thirsty brothers a drink? Thirsty brothers a drink. <laughs> thirsty brothers that should, like, go into a shop or come out of their yard with water. Like, for example, <laughs> like, if you are a cheap motherfucker, you ain't going to buy nothing, right? That's one uh, thing, so is right? Is it okay if I come in with a bottle and ask for some tap water? It's not okay, but... <laughs> It's less effort for me, yeah. so I'm more likely to do it. Depending on my, you know, dispensing, so okay. d- depending on my dispensing equipment. So it's okay. If you have, if you bring your own bottle. Yeah. Yeah. What's not okay is if you bring your own bottle and you stand around like you bought something and expect <laughs> expect some form of customer service, like a thank you or something. Like, fuck off, bruv. What not? Fuck off. You're not meant to be there. Wherever that place is, you're not meant to be yeah, there. But I deserve every. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, you know, you know what I say is true, sir. You know what I say is true. It's horrible, but it's one of those things. Yeah. Don't get twisted. If the person's dehydrated, looks mashed up, look like they've been through three wars, whatever, yeah. you know, like, I'll feel obliged to give them water, you know, just so they don't faint or die. That's, like, just the human side of me. However, however, every time I pour a glass of water and you haven't bought anything, I'm taking a mental note. <laughs> taking a mental note. So the moment you ask me for anything other than that, like, oh, there's no tissue in the toilets, well, you should fuck off home then. That's what I'll be saying. Fuck off. (laughs) 
I wouldn't be saying it explicitly, yeah. but subconsciously, fuck off. It's horrible. That bit will probably have to be um, cut out. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, pretty sure it, it, it hit a nerve with me. Um, my my real job and my um, my podcast job got in got in the way. Dear, 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 oh dear. Speaking of the shit that's getting in the way, Alec Baldwin. Wait, what if it's a two liter bottle? Oh, you definitely fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself. Oh God. What? What about a liter bottle? A liter bottle for? No, no. Anything over a cup. Or, like, it, like it depends, like, on my mood it's on the day. tap water. How can you be screwing over tap water? I'm screwing over the effort of giving you tap water when well, tap water exists tap. in your house. Go to the tap. It exists in your house. What, what if, what if they ask for tap water, but they explicitly ask you to rent the tap for a little bit so it's colder? I say it's cold enough, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> but you're making me run the tap. What kind of fucking privilege is this, bruv? Fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I need to let go of that demon. I need to let go of it. It's petty as hell, but it fucking pisses me off every time. Oh, that's <laughs> such a bad thing. That's harsh. That's so harsh. Damn, man, what's harsh is that you coming out pound the mouth of your yard without no freaking form of refreshment and then trying to ask me to waste my time whilst I'm trying to work for a goddamn living... Whatever you may do, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's like exclusive to sort of crackheads and you know bums and shit, because my fucking you know pretty model bitches do it too. Whoever does it and doesn't buy a drink, like pay for the service, yeah. you're a dick. <laughs> like at least tip the motherfucker that's giving it to you. You know what I mean? Like do something. So if I got a sandwich and a, a little bottle or mm-hmm. two little bottles. No, but you if bought. I buy, a, if I buy a sandwich and I hand you two little bottles, you fill it up. You bought a sandwich. That's fine. Run that's the tap, fine. Run the tap for a little bit before. I'll, I'll pretend as if I am, but I won't. But I'm just letting you know that's not going to happen. If, when you can't see the tap, it's not happening, bro. You're getting that lukewarm shit straight up, unless you're nice. If you're nice, you might get it. But boy, that's a tough stretch, sir. So Alec Baldwin, anyway. What was he doing? Well, he's wasting everyone's time. So it's kind of like, you know, a good segue. Um, <laughs> um, you don't know he's wasting people's time. He is, bruv. Oh, I'm going to play Thomas Wayne. Oh, wait, I'm not. It's with a two-day span, like... I guess, but like... I don't know, like, it was never confirmed. Like, it was never fully confirmed. And to be fair, it kind of made me worried when he said I was going to play in, like, a Trump. Yeah. I mean... That film's already worrying him. Anyway, that film's already worrying enough. Like that film is gonna be. This is this is my my early early call. The film is out next year, in October. Mm. So it's like thirteen months away. Mm. And I'm gonna say that film's gonna be a bag of shit. <laughs> and, yet, and, yet, and yet, and yet, Aquaman, Aquaman's early. gonna be good. This doesn't make any sense. It's not. It's going to be a bag of shit. It's all DC. It's all going to be a bag of shit. Do not get your hopes up for Shazam. Do not get your hopes up for Aquaman. Sorry, I'm still angry about the water thing. I've got to let it go. Um, (laughs) But yeah. (laughs) God. Um, But yeah, I mean, they're releasing a lot of sort of like Joker paraphernalia recently. Like they've got this um, new book by Jeff Johns called um, Free Jokers, which is, I don't know. Is that out yet? It's meant to be coming out next week, which will probably be out by the time. Be. Yeah, but by the time this podcast goes out, it'll probably be out. Okay. So, yeah, three Jokers. Um, apparently, um, according to the Morbius chair or something like that, there's three of them. Morbius chair. Um, Mobius, yeah. yeah. Um, there's three Jokers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah there's three Jokers. Nice the uh, they won't hear that. <laughs> there's three Jokers, and. Um, yeah, one's the new Fifty Two, one's Killing Joke Joker, and then the other is, I believe, what do they call him? The animated series Joker. But then there's also a Which couple. Animated series? Batman uh, animated series. Batman animated, Batman animated Batman. series. Okay. Um, so like uh, the one with Harley Quinn and all that. They should have used uh, the Batman because the at Batman. least that one is a bit different. Yeah, with the dreads and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I suppose, but. The other fucked up thing is that Joker's not even meant to be the real Joker. Um, there's a theory How go- so? Well, there's a theory going around about Pellman, who's sort of like 
like a descendant of like that sort of like like founding some form of archive or something like that that's like a couple hundred years old and um the joke about the joker ironically is that um the joker trains or brainwashes people to be the joker so be like him talk like him be him and then um, he then sort of steps back into the background. Another theory as well is that Rajal Ghul is actually the Joker, but instead of going crazy wow. from, the, well, this is it. It's like rather than going crazy, um, he has a complete different alter ego. Um, but yeah, it's interesting enough. And then with this whole three Jokers thing, it's like all three of them are true, apparently. Yeah. The one where Joker's tra- brainwashing people to be the Joker mm-hmm. kind of in a way makes sense because mm-hmm. I read something a while back where I don't, I don't even know if it's canon still but like uh, Joker and Harley like it was just after the Harley left the Joker like for mm-hmm. good um, or for good good mm-hmm. air quotes um he tried to kill her or something like that More like but then like um, he was saying that he'll just make another Harley and I'm sure there was like a room with like Harley bones or some shit like that oh it so it weird it didn't really make sense to me I didn't really like that Harley bones so basically yeah, he's saying that really he killed like the, the original Harley really Quinn make, yeah yeah it doesn't really make sense that there's multiple Harleys just like it doesn't really make sense that there's multiple Jokers but then saying that if they're not controlled well, if they're all controlled by some one guy, yeah. then it kind of makes sense because it's whatever he wants yeah, to. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, but I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Anyway, so uh, we'll speaking of um, that people that like to design and colouring things, um, Maria Severin, um, who was a colourist and an artist for Marvel, and a guy called Gary Federich, who was the writer of Ghost Rider, recently passed away this week. Um, a lot of tributes went out on Twitter. Um, and this is our tribute, as it were, R.I.P. Um, even though this is probably going to be, what, a week later? But it's all good. May her memory live on and on in our memories. Move me swiftly on. Um, scary stories to tell in the dark. Del Toro's arm in horror. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Are you excited? Do you know that much about scary tales to tell in the dark? Well, basically, it's like a complimentation thing, like um, Creep Show. Okay. Um, so you've got like loads of. No, it's a film. So it's like, I think anyway. So what, a film with just multiple horror stories. Mm. Uh, could be good. Yeah, it could good. be good. Um, I mean, it's it's different from Giant Robots, so. Giant Robots. Yeah. Oh. Pacific Rim. Yeah. Yeah, but even that's different. Horror thing makes more sense for him. Yeah, Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy. Yeah. yeah. It's it's where he, he gets his meat and potatoes of acting or you know, the, of, of, of the actors one? out. Shall I say? What was that what was that other one with the, the creepy house? Pan's Labyrinth. No. Not Pan. Um, no, it's recent ish. Recent ish. House. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense for him. Mm. Um, they should have let him do Justice League Dark like he wanted to, man. Well, this is it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I'd watch it. Mm. I mean, most most of the Toro stuff I'll watch. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a good illustrator from a directorial point of view, if that makes sense. He gets his message out there. Yeah. Um, whereas, like, a lot of... Um, like you could tell as well the nuances of a Del Toro film versus another film. Like you could tell Del Toro's done something to this sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like quite spot on. So Yeah, his um his hobby would have been way different. Oh fuck yeah. He probably wouldn't have actually been good and only one film. Yeah. I mean like it would have been more than one film because they wouldn't have let him make every one film. Oh bastards. Um but he might have been able to get away with two films. Yeah. Like, even if it was three films it would have been it would have looked good yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have looked good 
well, speaking of stuff to make you look good, um, Apple's basically announced that they're going to be doing this um, September the 12th event, and all they've left um, people with is a rose gold ring, and everybody's calling it the gold ringer. Okay. What is, what is this? What is it on? Basically, the it's ring on. Comes all... up on their phone or? No, 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 no. It's, what, a, it's a ring in the post. No, it's a ring on the screen. That's all they've. And they said, um, good things come to those who wait or something like that. And it's like, what are you proposing to us, Apple? What are on you your doing? Phone? No, no, on the screen. The it's screen not... of your phone? Your phone's got a screen? Well, it's wherever your screen is. It could be on your computer, it could be on your TV, wherever, wherever the advertisement is. It's highly confusing. What do you, what do you think? I don't know, what do you think it is? Well, um, I reckon it might be a Apple Ring, maybe. Oh. You've really got Apple Watch. Maybe Apple necklace. Apple shoes. Just going to announce the iPhone X.1. X.1. S. <laughs> yeah. That'll be iPhone XS. Yes. And it'll be a larger screen. And that'll be it. Yeah. That'll be it. The only thing that makes sense. Yeah. And then an iMac, maybe. And maybe a, a, a MacBook. Again, for like the 30th time. Yes. New phone, new laptop, new desktop. New iPad. Yes. That's it. Or a uh, new watch. It, it'll be all in one. You can't have an iMac watch. Phone. It's phone. Good. Yeah, you, you just, like you put a strap on it, and then it's a, a watch. So, so like an you Apple put a keyboard gauntlet. on it, and then it's a laptop. So some Apple <laughs> you gauntlet. Take the Apple off. gauntlet. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Apple gauntlet. Yeah. It's going to be the next thing. That's pointless, bro. That's dope, man. Although it, kinda, <laughs> although it does kind of remind me of Upgrade, um, the film. I might actually, I might actually buy an Apple Watch. That's that's terrible news. <laughs> <laughs> man, just trying to snap on the motherfucker. Um, it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, Upgrade. And there's actually um, a lot of te- basically Upgrade set in the future. Um, if you haven't seen it sort of thing here's like a little preview uh, a guy gets a chip inserted to him and then it turns him into sort of like a super hybrid robot fighting machine yep awesome it's an awesome film I'm not going to give away any spoilers I've watched it and it's good yeah it's real good really it's good um, B Tom Hardy in it yeah oh, this is another thing as well Tom Hardy's in it <laughs> like when I was watching it, I kind of feel that it was meant to be Tom Hardy in it. Like, but in saying that, it's interesting that this whole Venom thing kicked off because I reckon he was meant to be in it, and it would have made more sense for his character. It depends, actually. Like, after I've watched all the film, there's certain elements of the characters, yeah. whether it be Stem or Venom, Symbiote, or whatever, that have similarities. Yeah, like. And, uh, yeah, all I'm saying is that if Venom is as any good as Upgrade, we'll, we all win. We all win. That remains to be seen. Speaking about winning, um, first man, Ryan Gosling, first man on the moon, what do you reckon? Yeah. I mean, i watch it. you watch it? Yeah, why not? It's good. Okay. Gosling's good. Mm-hmm. And do you reckon it's a, a better job than the 1969 um, moon movie? Where they didn't actually walk on the moon. According to conspiracy theorists. No comment. No comment. So you're using your no comment on moon landing. Yes. That's like, so no aliens, no dark side in the moon theories, nothing. Yes. You love talking about that shit though. No comment. God damn you. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to appeal to the female fan base and shit uh, what how <laughs> female fan base are into uh, I'm, about no I'm not that dumb <laughs> <laughs> I oh, what are you trying to say I'm trying to appeal to yeah, the female yeah 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 you are. <laughs> trying, to, trying to be suave about it as well no comment we, we get one no comment per friggin round of real dumb shit and you're using it on the moon landing because that shit's ridiculous even though our show is called real dumb shit Yes. You're meant to be talking about dumb shit. You can't just say no comment to dumb shit because it's actually dumb. You've done it. No, I said it towards like um, it was all, it was when it was getting real political. I remember I said no comment because yeah. I felt the rage. Yeah. I felt the rage. And, yeah, and, but like the moon landing quickly gets real political. So I'm out. 
<laughs> Rubbish. So anyway, um, so that's your one no comment. I'm I'm already made a note. Um, Young Justice. Yes, I saw that trailer. The outside. Yes. Well, with uh, Nightwing. Yes. Mm. It looks. I, uh, I didn't like that he had a face mask instead of an eye mask. But does it really make a matter? Uh, huh? Does it really matter or make it a difference? Matter. One, it matters to me, and two, if you saw him previously with an eye mask and then you see him again with a face mask you can then put the two together and you know who he is in theory yes <laughs> but in practice also yes <laughs> but in saying that he, he was whelming um, yeah just to quote Young Justice whelming all of the, the the guards at the time who would have thought oh my god that's Nightwing they would have said oh my god this guy's kicking our asses and then he blew up the place. Like, later so. on, he blew up the place. After so. those bruises subside, uh. like yes, yeah. But it's like people would probably figure out. Like, so I reckon the henchmen know more than the, the main bosses anyway. So they probably know who Batman is and who, nah. you know. Nah, I reckon they do. Nah. In fact, you're trying to say if some like random henchman knew who Batman is, he's not going to go tell the penguin or some shit like that no because he's always getting his ass kicked because yeah, of his so, job yeah so yeah but don't you think he's less likely to get his ass kicked if he goes tells a higher up who then might go and kill him he might have done but remember the whole magic thing where they're wiping people's minds so that one guy is probably getting his ass kicked all the time by Batman or Superman or whatever and he was telling his bosses his bosses were just like ignoring him apparently because their minds have been wiped with magic and then this guy's just getting more frustrated and then he leaves the next day. It's a typical power struggle, sir. It's not canon anymore. It's not canon anymore. Yeah, that was pre-New 52. Well, Crisis. Well, 50, New 52 was... I don't know, Flashpoint was kind of a crisis, but it wasn't called a crisis. Oh, fuck it. Anyway, well, <laughs> I can just imagine being that frustrated henchman anyway, so... Yeah, oh. but you tell somebody. Mm. You tell someone or you do it yourself. <sighs> I don't know. Speaking about um, doing it yourself, um, Stars Play, um, a subscribe within a subscribe, or as I like to call it, subscriber inception. Subscribeception. Subscription, yeah. Hold on. Um. I mean, it's, it's only in the UK, it's probably in the US already, but. I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is more annoying. No, I think it's less annoying than, um, you know, like loads of different places having a subscription service mm. I think it's less annoying it makes more sense to do it this way then that way it's kind of more of an add-on rather than you're paying full subscription price mm. for something different yeah but 4 is not cheap <laughs> yeah but it's not 9 99 yeah I suppose like, what you'd be paying for if you bought yeah, a box if it was just by itself like, mm. you know I mean you're right 4 it should be like £2. Yeah. Especially when you're already paying for Amazon I'm even, Prime. I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to say £2. Hmm. I mean, if you're paying like XYZ for Amazon Prime anyway, yeah. which is the main platform, and then you're paying an additional £5 a month, I mean, it's all long. It's all long for yeah. me. But they are, they are giving you the, the, U- quality. the US Open for free. Yeah. So, hopefully, we'll see more stuff like that. Yeah. Which would be interesting, like more. I don't know. I mean, more Mr. Mercedes, stuff. I'm I'm interested in watching because it didn't come out in the what UK. Is it Mr. Mercedes. Mr. Mercedes is um, Stephen King's um, latest book. Okay. Um, I watched a little bit of the first series. The second season's just come out. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's on um, AT and T's network. I managed to. What subscription though, right? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Fuck this subscription bullshit, lad. Yeah, baby. It's but, crazy. But now it's on Stars TV in the UK, so you can actually watch both of them. Um, I think Amazon Prime have got um, Season 1. So you can watch um, Miss Mercedes Season 1 on Amazon Prime. by the other. regular Prime? I believe or so. Or get Stars? This is the thing. I mean, I was checking it because I was checking out this um, thing before. I am paying for nothing else. You're a bad guy. Um, what, for not paying for nothing else? Yeah, actually, yeah, you're, you're probably justified in saying that. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not justified. It's terrible stuff, though, that this is happening to us. I mean, Jack Ryan looks interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm willing to give that a shot. Mm. But yeah, can it cook? No. Yeah, so actually, no, it's not on um, the Amazon Prime thing, Majiggy. It's on um, Stars Play. The worst thing about it is that when you click on the link via Amazon Prime, yeah. it says watch with a Stars Play subscription. And when you tap on the, the bits and pieces, how do I watch this? Only customers that could subscribe and Stars Play can watch Amazon here. Okay. And then um, nothing. I can't subscribe via my app. No, I mean, pointless. A lot of apps are like that. Like, you have to go on the website to subscribe yeah. and then go back to the app as long. Like, yeah. I mean, it's a duck. I mean, it protects. Build it the fuck in. Yeah, exactly. Just build it the fuck in. It take my just money. Take you, my money. Thank yeah, you. Take my money. You dummies. Uh, anyway, Castle Rock. Um, yeah, it looks interesting. I mean, I watched a load of the synopsis online. Uh, and the first episode seems quite compelling. I mean, what's your thoughts on it? Um, I like it. Like, it's definitely up my street. Mm-hmm. Up uh, your street? Yeah, it's definitely something that I would... So dark, twisted, uh, full watch. of mystery? Yeah. I used to love all that shit. Mm. X-Files, Alien, Diana, mm. whatever else. Mm. I mean, I mean it's, Twilight Zone. It's been... It's been uh, Stephen King books. Mm, Stephen King's. Stephen king Yeah. Definitely. All day. All day, every day. Mm-mm-mm. Speaking about Stephen King, um, yeah, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I know um, okay. it's not completely an obvious segue, but Don't obviously, um, Charles... Explain. Charles Manson. I, I never explained talking to DC movies. I suspect. I feel I feel compelled to because like you know it's a different stretch. It's like <laughs> a lot of the time when people listen to the podcast, oh my god, what's going on? You know, like, and it's like you know, I'm just getting nothing but bad feedback. People saying, Arr! and I was like, where's just sp- speaking to DC movies? Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, but yeah, once upon a time in Hollywood, Charles Manson murders and that time of the sixties. Um, got a little bit more information about some of the plot. Um, Brad Pitt and um, Leonardo DiCaprio play stunt a stuntman and a and I think a press agent or something like that. Uh, yeah, so, it's looking to be good. A little bit more um, explanatory. Uh, um, it should be, but I don't know. Like the the thing will be like how like I, I don't think they. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like. How are they gonna juggle like the murders in the middle of their film? Well, my theory is that they're gonna make this into the new Pulp Fiction. How so? Well, you know, it's gonna be a guy with a briefcase, some form of rape scene in the cellar, and it won't even be about the um, the Charles Manson killings. It'll just be literally about characters like Zed, Ed, and maybe some guy with a sword. Um, maybe mm. speaking about um, maybes and mysteries and nonsense like that Sherlock 3 has come out of nowhere who? Sherlock 3 the film oh yeah basically um, what they're saying as they always do is that they really make a free. no ok you've got Sherlock Holmes and then you've got um Sherlock Holmes 2 something something Shadows Book of Shadows Book of Shadows that's it Land of Secrets Land of Secrets Secrets and Shadows I don't know Secrets and Shadows Secrets of the Shadows Secrets of the Shadows maybe because Moriarty isn't it yes maybe well that guy so yeah Robert Downey Jr Jude Law make a, re- a recurrence I believe Guy Ritchie's involved as well looks to be good um don't know Maybe. I mean, probably. Um, I didn't see the second one. I saw the first one. Second one I watched. It's alright. Didn't hear it. But just, you know, it's... I don't know. It's just it's not really one of them ones that makes you rush out to the cinema to watch. No, I, I enjoy both of them. But I think it's kind of a cheap move on for Robert Downey Jr. to wait for the other Sherlock to be distracted whilst then um, sneaking back <laughs> in the role again. <laughs> Yeah, take Doctor Strange. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll do this Doctor Strange thing for you, Sneaking Robert. back into the role. Mm. They're two completely different Doctors. I know they are. I know. But, saying that... More Sherlock's. 
Yeah, they're two different Sherlock's, but which Sherlock do you prefer? Well, obviously the Cumberbatch. Ugh. What do you mean? Ugh. It's too obvious. It's too obvious, yeah, because it's the obvious choice, because it's the right choice. That's why it's, it's not obvious. the right choice. It is the right choice. I mean, you got plenty of. Um, I mean, you got the guy from Elementary now. Fuck that dude. Yeah, fuck that dude. Um, fuck that show, man. It's just you've got Peter Cushing. Yeah. Peter Cushing used to be my favorite one. Hands of the Bastardville. So I used to be petrified of that bloody film when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Who else? Who else plays Sherlock? It's just that, isn't it? A bunch of people have played Sherlock. Uh, uh, Magneto. Magneto played Sherlock. Did he? Yeah, he played old Sherlock. In what, in what Sherlock? Old man Sherlock, I think we've heard that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of old mans and Sherlock's, um, big trouble in Little China um, yeah. is now being confirmed as a sequel. Uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of had to backtrack on that one just well, a little bit. But to be fair, it's, it's been so just long. It's been so long. It can be rebooted, but it's like. Nah, but then it's just what Jack same. Burton, you know. It's like, no, it just won't be the same. Even though it is The Rock, and if anyone could do it, maybe The, really the Rock could do it. Yeah. But there's just too many people just be like, no, no. <laughs> yeah. It's just not worth the trouble. Just do what they did with Jumanji and just be like, same universe, different shit's going on. No, nah, they can't do the same thing as they did with Jumanji. Why not? Jumanji was a success. It was a success, but Big Trouble Little China is a different animal. Nah, just do the same thing. Just the same universe, different shit's going on. You can even bring um, Kurt Russell back. Like, he's, he can still move about a bit. Mm. He'd be old man, old man Jack. Old man Jack. What about Paying old, his dues. What about old man Wang? With the pork, pork chop express. Chop suey express. Is it chop suey express? I think so. Sure. It's not pork chop. Pork chop express. God damn it. Bing it. Ask Jeeves, he'll tell you. Jeeves, I ain't asked Jeeves shit in a while, bro. I don't fucking plan you're on, bro. Ask Jeeves, you know. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Fine, bing it then. Big trouble. Oh, God, that's so... You don't want to ask Jeeves, bing it. God. Big trouble, Little China. Will not be a remake. Oh, God. Yes, let me take a minute. Uh... I don't even know what to search for. It's like vendetta against. Yes, what's his truck called? Jack Burton's truck. Yeah. Pork Chop Express. Meet me. Jack Burton, fictional character, movie. No travel. No <laughs> if you paid your dues, Jack. If you paid your dues. I paid my dues. The check is in the post. Damn. It doesn't actually say. Oh, well, we'll just assume I'm right. No. No. <laughs> no, nah, You answer that a bit quick. Wow. So the studio hired Carpenter to direct the film and rush Big Trouble Little China into the production so it'll be released before a similarly titled themed Eddie Murphy film, The Golden Child, for states come out. So basically, yeah. It was Wait, da- is that what happened or is that happening? That's what happened. Oh, okay. So, like, damn, what, they're remaking Golden Child as well? Oh, God. They should, though. The Golden Child would not be a reboot. We want the reboot. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... But you want depend- a reboot of Golden Child? Yeah? I don't know. I'd, it'll probably be, what, Jamie Foxx? See, but Jamie... Nothing against Jamie Foxx, but... <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if they were to remake... We more black people up in Hollywood, man. <laughs> well, no, it would be, be more fucked up if Samuel people. Jackson... If Samuel Jackson was in a reboot, that would be even more fucked up. Yeah, especially since last week's... Was it last week or a couple of weeks' revelation of him 
playing all the black dudes in fucking Tarantino movies. Yeah. All the black. Now, you know why that is, right? He's the only black person he knows. It's it's uh, no no. <laughs> it's down to um, Spike Lee kicking off um, about the the usage of the word um, Negro within um, Tarantino's films. What, and Subsequently, everybody um, and uh, Samuel Jackson's the only person that I don't give a fuck. Yeah, pretty much. And the worst thing about it is that um, he's in Jungle Fever, isn't it? The film that put Spike Lee on the map. Yeah. Mm. Great stuff. I'm a crack here. Crack, 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 crack. Uh, it's bad. Um, doesn't actually say what the name of his truck is. I'm just. There's a restaurant mentioned, but that's about it. No, I think Pork Chop Express. I don't think it's Pork Chop. I'm putting your Chop Suey Express then. I'm just going to come up with a Chinese restaurant. I'm quite sure. Express closed on Mondays. Mm. Oh, this is coming to Chinese restaurant. I told you, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Chopping pork, it's not pork chop. What is it then? I don't know. I'm just gonna have to Google Jack Burton's truck. Isn't that what you said already? I did, Jack Burton. Came up with that truck. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, there's an action figure for Jack Burton, and it's two hundred and forty-nine pounds. It's a hot toys. Huh? It's a hot toy. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's just expensive. Expensive. I can't wait until this this podcast starts giving me money. So. You can Motherfuckers wait. pay me so I can buy some hot toys. Hot toys. I don't know why you're back there laughing and shit. Like it's not funny. Pay motherfuckers so we can get some hot toys. I want to buy some fucking hot toys. It's like I go in for Bin and Planet and I look at that the, that bit with the glass and I just crying, crying okay. every time. Okay. Looking at all the amazing figures I cannot buy. Well, and you motherfuckers are not helping. Well, um, you'll be grateful to know that you're actually right. Well, it's the Pork Chop Express. Yeah. Of course I'm right. Of course I'm right. You know what? We could have saved ourselves five minutes if we just assumed I was right in the first place. It's hard like to. I said. It's hard to, bro. <laughs> you violated the trust before, like, with the, was it the Kwai Lung? Kwai Lung and this with um, Iron Fist. And you said it was Kung Lao. It was late. Like, it was like, hot. It was hot and it was late. So, um, I would try, and I promise from now, to invest some form of trust in things that you say. Alright, cool. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. For the next three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, we had a breakthrough. Galaxy um, put on hold and Doctor Strange 2 coming out in 2019. Yeah, that um, film's done. Hmm? That film's done. What, Galaxy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the second one wasn't as good as the last one, didn't I it? I don't think so, but yeah, um, they're probably just not going to make it. They, mm. they they told the crew to go find other jobs, like, go look for work, so. Wow. Yeah. They didn't put them on like, Doctor Strange 2 or anything. <sighs> they were all like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I mean, it might not be, but it doesn't look good. Mm. It doesn't look good. It's bad. And I don't know. It's a weird... It's a weird, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I suppose it's difficult. Like, how do you make a film without without a director that was so integral to that film mm. and with a cast who's so loyal to that director was like, we're just not going to be happy. Like, no matter what you do, if you make this film without him, we're not going to be happy. Like, you're going to you're gonna force us to make this film, we're just not going to be happy. Like, that's just not a good look. Like, it's just not a good look for anybody. One thing I'm confused about is what does that mean for Avengers 4? Like, I mean, I assume Avengers 4 has already been made, right? Yeah, but I mean, they'll be in that, but then there just won't be a Guardians 3. Mm. Or if there is a Guardians 3, I was listening to the Weekly Planet the other day, mm-hmm. and they were saying that they could just use a different Guardians team. Like, they could use the one that they showed, like the Stallone team. Well, Stallone won't be able to do it because I found out why he left Expendables 4. He's there. 
Nope, he's doing Rambo. Oh. Yeah, but it's not going to be yet. I mean, he'll be finished Rambo by then. Yeah, it's a short ass freaking production. It's just him killing everyone, everyone it's dying. So weird. Is it a reboot? No, no. It's, it's never been a rebooted. I know it's never been, but this one could have been. Like, just you can't. It, Rambo's old as shit now. Who gives a fuck about John Rambo? Everyone. Nobody. But you. <laughs> Motherfucker. Nobody. I mean, I found out what the guy's name was. It's Matthew Marsden. Which, which guy? Um, the guy that was um, the sniper in Rambo. And then um, I also found out about... Was that a question we were asking? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Because I, I was trying Why? to ask you. I, yeah, I tried I to ask you, to you what happened it. to him. And I did, I, did, I did a wormhole of like, you know, research since then. So the guy's name was Matthew Marsden. Also, I, I listened to one of the other ones. Um, and um, Ch- Chelios' film was called Crank. That's it. Yeah. And there's a sequel as well. That's there's it. two. Crank. There's two of them. Crank 2 High Voltage. Oh, God. What? It's just bad. It's good. So bad. It's good. It's good. Like, if you want to sit down... You just want to watch a fun movie that's real dumb, mm. like crank all day. Like it's mm. good. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's good for the dumbness. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like what I said the other week. Like it's it's comic booky. Mm. Like obviously it's not superhero stuff, but it's comic booky. Like it's just mm. you know, it's just fun. I mean, it's the same thing with um, Happy. Have you ever seen Happy? Have you watched Happy yet? Thing. Yeah. I've seen. Uh, I've seen one or two episodes no, I think I've only seen one episode oh it's so fucked up but yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like the same baby yeah, yeah exactly it's just, it's just extreme nonsense speaking about sometimes you need in your life this is why you listen to the real dumb shit mm, exactly one bit of nonsense that you don't need in your life and I don't need in my life Venom? is no don't you ever say that ever again <laughs> um, is Death Note 2 I ever see one is this the Japanese one no, not the Japanese one. God, the Netflix one. Oh, well, well, well. Uh, didn't see the first one on Netflix. Yeah, I didn't see it. Hmm. I, well, I mean, look, I've seen no live action versions of. I actually heard that the Japanese one's good. The Japanese one's great. I haven't seen it. It's great. Um, but That's I've how seen I actually no got live into action it. versions of of Death Note. I've only seen the animated series and animated film hmm. that's probably the best way yeah I mean why would you want to make a film and put it on Netflix of something that was so good that you tarnished the first time Does the Netflix want a film it's, it's like a film made for TV I mean that's probably the best description I can give it well um yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, people must have watched it. Mm. Otherwise, why would they bother? Mm. Um, yeah. well, I don't know. Or Cause I Holly, guess it could Hollywood. be like one of those ones where it's like they have the license like they, they need, and they need content. So mm. just make it whether people watch it or not. Bad thing. Um, but well, speak- yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But speaking of licensing, um, Sabrina the Dark Teenage Witch. On, on board. You're on board? Yeah, why not? What about, you know, Salem and, um, you know, Clarissa? I think, she's, I think Clarissa she still explains has, all. I think she still has Salem. Hmm? I think she still has Salem. Apparently it's like the comic, the, the comic's like darker than the TV series. Everything's darker than the TV series. I guess. Well, yeah. So, yeah, why not? Hmm. Why not? It's madness. Yeah. It's just a, it's basically like Riverdale up, isn't it? Yeah. She used to be my favourite. What? Lisa Joan Hart. Lisa Joan Hart. Yeah. She was pointless, but yeah. Clarissa explains all. What the hell did she explain in one episode, she bro? She explained everything. Other than having a weird relationship with her next door neighbor who used to break into her house every single night with a ladder, and then she used to be casually like let him into her room where he possibly gave her drugs, and then watched her sleep. He didn't give her drugs. He gave her drugs. He didn't give her drugs. Look, they had the same relationship. We all used to have with our female friends. It's all good. It's all good. It's weird. Nah, it's all good. And Nickelodeon had a weird lineup. 
they had loads of weird people. I mean, Roger, the person that used to come around and get dash away all the time uh, from yeah, the twins' house. Yeah, annoying younger kid from across the road or next door or whatever. Talking about annoying and younger. Um, Fahrenheit 11.09 or 11.9. Um, have you heard anything about it? No, I don't know what that is. Basically, it's uh, Michael Moore's um, latest addition to his Fahrenheit series. He released one called Fahrenheit 9-11, which is basically about... Um, series? How many are there? Well, basically, it's just these two. So now we can, <laughs> call, it, we can now call it a series. Now it's a series. Yeah. But it's very much in the vein of things like Sicko and um, Bowling for Columbine and all that stuff. Um, so it's like exposing, you know, the real people and their opinions on Trump and the reason why Trump got into power. Wait, is this a documentary? No. What do you mean, no? This sounds like a documentary. Uh, it's, it's a thing where people explain stuff that isn't done in a scriptive format and it's more of an informative basis. That sounds like a documentary. No, nah, no, you're mistaken. I thought you said no documentaries. No, it's a, fi- it's a film where the exactly it's a film. This is what I was saying. Listen, it was a slow week. <laughs> um, yeah, the hypocrisy. Yeah, but at least Michael Moore isn't making a frigging documentary about me. Yet, yet. See so how many madnesses we have. Anyway, I'm going to call this one a day. I reckon, um, because it's 24, get it. Yes. And, um, yeah. We are within our remit. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to call it a no. Any other dumb shit to add? Keep in mind, you have, like, about 30 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, remember to follow us on all of our available platforms as well as keep your ears and your eyes and your nose open for dumb shit. Before you say that. God. I mean, well, technically after you say that, but before you. Sign off completely. Yes. Um. I've been getting a bit more correspondence, <laughs> which is weird because I keep telling motherfuckers don't follow me. Mm-hmm. Um, down at you, yeah. Yeah, they they somehow managed to track down my Gmail. Your Gmail? <laughs> yeah. You got Gmailed? Yeah. You got G checked? Yeah. Like, what on what? On what? On what? On my name is redacted rds at Gmail. That, that's like the worst. The exactly. Worst. That's the worst. Exactly. That's how. You, that's how you try and get people not to find you by making it something you won't remember. Yeah, but now you've just given it to everyone because you asked. You tricked me. I didn't trick you, and yeah. So yeah, re- redacted rds at gmail dot com. Yes. What, what is it? Uh, yeah. So we get some correspondence, uh, and people keep asking, "What's happening with this?" Aquaman versus Venom feud. <laughs> Let him ask, bro. Let him ask. There's no such thing. Huh? There's no such thing. There's no such thing. I can't. I can't justify <laughs> because I've called both films trash. So no, it's you like didn't. you said Venom's gonna be good. I said so you're Venom has the potential to be good. You backtracking. No, I'm not backtracking. Just, just so you're backtracking. I'm not backtracking cool. because I know no that Aquaman is also going to be trash as well. No one's going to think any less of you. Yeah, but okay. Aquaman's trash. Even Venom's trash, trash. Even if it's trash, it's going to be... Both are trash. It's going to be better. No. Than no. Venom. No. It's going to be a sub-mediocre effort by DC yet again. It's going to be... Me- like, it's going to be... I don't know, bland. It's like the most blandest me. It's like having saline fluid... Drizzled over tofu. That's how bland so it's going to be. So gross. It is. And that's exactly what it's going to be, bro. Um, whereas with Venom, it's probably going to be quirky, going to be jumpy, going to be choppy, maybe rubbish, but at least they made an effort. That sounds like you think it's going to be better. I reckon it's going to be better than Aquaman, yeah. Hey, your money where your mouth is. Both of them are trash. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting in, involved. The people have spoken. 
Yes, let them speak. Let them speak. They have spoken. If if you want to speak so up. much, just add us on Twitter. The worst <laughs> thing about it is that we got the numbers back the other day, and it's like everyone, like all over the world, is listening to us. However, we have no Twitter followers. <laughs> Our Twitter game is mad weak, so it's like, bruv. And then, like, everyone's saying, oh, but the way that you get popular on Twitter is if you follow other people, and people then follow you, and then after they follow you for a little while, then they stop um, following you and then listening to your sort of stuff, and then, uh, yeah, everything else goes to shit. Sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Right, how about this? How about what? How about this? Hashtag. You put your money where your mouth is. If. Mm-hmm. If. If. We get two followers next week. No, 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 no. Because you're just going to rig that. You're going to rig that. I'm going to rig that. All right. If we get 200 <laughs> followers. 200 is a bit much. 200 is enough. Nah, 200 what's followers. What's I will agree to put my money where my mouth is. And yeah, I'll join in on the, the, the Venom thing with well, you. 30. Let's make it 30. No. 30 200. 200 30 or nothing. 10 followers. 200. 200 45 200 16 300 72 1 million 1 million subscribers oh, come on man 1 million <laughs> give, give us 1 million subscribers in 1 week come on in 1 week if we come get on. that if we get that come on. then I'll join give in on the Venom thing I'll tell you what I'll tell you, tell you what, what. If we get a million subscribers by the time the film Venom comes out, I will do this bullshit challenge that Redacted wants me to do, as well as his um, internet stalkers. <laughs> I'll do it. Make it happen. Yeah. Don't follow me. Stop. Stay out of my inbox. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you, 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 you're gonna you're gonna have to encourage a little bit of inbox action now, because um, you're gonna have to start networking, buddy, if you want this thing to actually happen. That's all I'm scissor saying. Uh, uh, uh. And on that note, <sighs> yeah, follow us everywhere. Um, keep listening to dumb shit and stuff. Yeah, stay away from my name is redacted RDS at. <laughs> gmail.com <laughs> and stay away from um, real dumb shit at Twitter no 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 it's not at Twitter there's no such thing as that Twitter <laughs> it's weird tell you what don't follow us on anything ever no no follow us on Twitter so we can get this dude in the game no no don't <laughs> get this do dude hashtag not. get this dude in the game hashtag Follow and Don't. hashtag get the student in the game. Hashtag shunt life move things forward. By getting him in the game. Mm-mm. Not get, I'm not getting in the game. I'm getting in the game. He wants to be in the game. Don't want to be in the game, bro. He does. He just wants to make it interesting. Let's um, do this. Get a million subscribers and um, yeah. Nah, 50. We'll set it at 50. Like, leave no, it. No, let, no, me no, 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 no. let me talk to no. him. Let me talk to him. I'll hang him down to 50. No. You 50, get, 50, 50 million. 50, 50 million. And we get him in the game. We'll make it 50 so million subscribers. Let's do this. 50 million subscribers. And I will join in on the stupid. I mean, what is, what is the winnings? I don't even know what the winnings are. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> now, we're all making, like, all these promises and shit. I don't yeah. know what. What what do I get if I win? Well, what do I get no, if I lose? So we've never got that far. We've never got that far. Cause what do I get no. if I win? What do I get if I lose? I don't know. What do you want? Money? You want a forfeit? What? Bruv, you're, you got all these like campaigns and shit. You got <laughs> you got to have answers. You can't just ask me what I want. You know what I mean? Like it's pointless. It's crazy stuff. Ah, right, let me think about it. Oh god, terrible stuff. Anyway, while Redactor's thinking, be good to each other. Gorillas for life. Go, gorillas is um, the, the name that I've given our fans yes because real dumb shit reeler reel them in ah. go reelers go reelers gorillas makes sense hopefully see what I'm just going to get like now follow and get this dude in the game peace peace <laughs>